Hey everyone, it's Mary from Performance Pilates. Today I'm going to show you some stretches to do. So right now if you're at home, you might be sitting a little bit longer and you might just want some go-to stretches just to make sure that you're feeling good and your lower back feels good. So all of these stretches are very gentle, right? You don't have to be some advanced Pilates guru to do these. Um, and you can do these stretches throughout the day. It doesn't have to be once. You could do it at the beginning and the end of the day. Ha! So first move that you're gonna do, you're just gonna be on your back. You're gonna keep your knees bent and you're gonna tilt down into the side. So on this, you wanna keep your shoulder blades down, right? Your hip will come off the floor. So if you feel a good stretch here and you wanna stay here, that's fine. If you wanna get a little bit of a deeper stretch, bring that top leg over and you can even push with your hand and you'll get a nice stretch through that low back and glute, okay? And then you would come back. Okay, so for these stretches, you could hold anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. If you want to hold longer, you could. It just kind of depends on how you feel. If you go 30 seconds, it might be a good idea to repeat each of these moves. Okay, and then you go to your other side. Same thing, keep those shoulder blades down, bring that leg over if you want. So the next stretch we're going to do, I like to call this a figure four tilt. So you would cross your right foot over your left knee, and you're going to tilt down into the right. So your right foot is gently pushing that left leg down, right? And then this one, you might get a couple different areas of a stretch. Some people feel it in their quad. Some people feel it through their glute and lower back. If it feels good to you, you're doing it right, okay? Don't overthink stretches, right? As long as you can stay relaxed, you still have those shoulder blades down, you're perfect. Okay, then we come back to the middle. You're gonna cross over left foot, right knee. You're gonna go down into the left, right? And we'll hang tight there. Try to stay relaxed, right? You're stretching. You should be relaxed. <sighs> and then we're gonna come back to the middle. So the next stretch is for our hamstrings. So on this, you could have a towel to put around your foot. If you don't have anything around you, you can grab behind that hamstring and just gently pull that leg towards you. Okay, so the leg I'm not stretching, I like to keep that leg bent. It helps protect that lower back, right? And it helps you just isolate and think about your hamstring. So on this, if you wanted a deeper stretch, you could point your toes down to your nose and it makes it a little bit more icky. <laughs> okay, and you do the same thing to the other side. You would just pull that leg towards you and pull as much as you can. Okay, don't worry about if your leg is perfectly straight, right? Most people are not gonna have a perfectly straight leg. As long as you feel a stretch through the back of your leg, that's perfect, okay? Keep those shoulders relaxed and just pull gently to where you feel that stretch. Okay, so our next stretch, you're gonna be in the seated position and you're gonna have your legs go as wide as you can, okay? So this move can be pretty hard for people, right? If you're really tight, you're gonna look like this, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to fix that after we kind of show you the normal position here, okay? So you have two ways to do this. You could be seated and just walk those hands forward and just kind of sink and relax into the ground, right? You could go to your elbows and you're just gently gonna rock side to side, okay? If that doesn't feel comfortable to you, that's fine. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to a wall, right? You're gonna have your legs up at the wall. Your legs are gonna be wide and you're gonna hang tight right there, right? So that's gonna be a little bit easier, huh? Okay, and you'll relax there, okay? Okay, so those are a few stretches for you to try at home. Um, remember, you could do this twice a day. These are pretty gentle stretches. You can hold anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. I would try to hold for at least a minute each side just to really let those muscles relax because typically when you start a stretch, if you're really tight, you're going to be really tensed up and that minute gives you a chance just to kind of relax, to breathe, and to feel that stretch. Okay, keep up the good work. Make sure that you're still active and moving, drinking plenty of water, and always make sure that you're stretching. Okay, see you guys later.